He defied expectations. But there's no rest for this Prime Minister, determined to turn a shock result into the new status quo. Boris Johnson knows that his victory rally in the seat of one of Labour's most successful leaders must be more than a fluke. He wants a piece of Tony Blair's appeal. To hold these seats, he has a plan. To act fast, back up his promises with cold, hard cash and win the trust of northern voters with infrastructure spending and NHS money written into law. But if there's pressure on Boris Johnson, there's a heavier burden on Jeremy Corbyn. The party is now soul-searching. I'm sat in a period of mourning. We need to be able to have a chance to stop and think. Okay. And the old guard are crumbling away. Both John McDonnell and Mr Corbyn will be gone in months. But what comes next? There's a whole range of uh, youngsters that have come through who, actually, I call them youngsters, but actually they're really well experienced. They're the new generation coming through. Rebecca Long-Bailey, Angela Rayner, Richard Bergen, this whole group of them. And you can see a, you can see a coalition forming that can give us... I think the future that this country needs. And many have written in the Sunday newspapers today explaining what went wrong. The leader himself has also written an article accepting responsibility while still claiming his policies and the direction he took the party in was right. Good morning. Good morning. Many disagree, but who will take his place? And will the direction they choose be enough to rebuild the red wall the Conservatives have taken down? Kate McCann, Sky News.